Hi, I'm Sam with Make. You may remember me from such projects as the Raspberry Beagle Pie Pretzel Timer and the one with the antenna. Is your remote control collection getting out of control? With the television, cable box, Blu-ray player, a stereo, and a DVR, each remote takes up so much space, and figuring out which one to use can be frustrating. So you're asking yourself, maybe I should buy one of those fancy programmable remote controls. But let's be honest, they're expensive, they're fancy, and they're so confusing to operate. Plus, they never work the way you want them to. But don't worry, in today's weekend project, you'll learn to build a smart remote control by Tony DeCola. You'll couch surf like never before, commanding your entertainment system with your laptop, tablet, or even a smartphone. With the help of the powerful Arduino Yoon and some clever programming, you'll make all those remotes sitting on your table a thing of the past. You'll need the following parts for building your own smart remote control, most of which you can pick up at your local Radio Shack or order them online. And the only tool you'll need is a computer running the most recent version of the Arduino software. It's free and available for Linux, Mac, and Windows operating systems. This is a moderately difficult project when it comes to programming. It requires some experience running Arduino sketches and using command line tools. However, the electronic components for this project are really simple. I assembled all the components myself on a solderless breadboard. It was easy. I was up and running in no time, and so can you. This project uses the Arduino Yoon, which is a special Arduino that's perfect for network-connected devices like our smart remote control. And what's more, with the Arduino Yoon, you'll receive not just one processor, but two processors. That's unbelievable. If you're tired of lugging around a second processor to run Linux, you're in luck. The Yoon has a standard Arduino processor, but wait, there's more. It also has a second processor, which runs Linux. Act now, and you'll get Wi-Fi capability too. This Arduino Yoon is amazing. That's right. And it's a great choice for this type of project since it can understand Arduino code, Python code, read an XML file, and even wirelessly serve up a web page that you use for controlling your electronics. Okay, let's get making! You'll start this build by wiring up all the electronics. Connect the infrared LEDs anode, or positive lead, to the Arduino Yoon's digital pin 13. Next, using a 100 ohm resistor, connect the infrared LEDs cathode, or negative lead, to the IR sensor's middle lead, or ground pin. Now connect the IR sensor detection pin, the leftmost lead when looking at the front of the sensor, to digital pin 11 of the Yoon. Next, connect the IR sensor's ground lead, the middle lead, to a ground pin on the Yoon. Finally, connect the IR sensor's positive lead, the rightmost lead when looking at the front of the sensor, to the 5 volt pin on the Yoon. That's it for the hardware, now you'll need to install and configure all the software. We're not going to go over every detail here since there are a lot of steps and lines of code. But don't worry, everything you need, including the code, can be yours by calling the number on your screen now. You'll receive all of the basic instructions, plus tips and tricks, and you can even share your build with the world. Let's take a look at some of the basic steps in our basic step system that'll get your project up and running. You'll start by inserting a micro SD card into the Yoon, then power it up by connecting the USB cable to a USB power adapter. Confirm your Yoon is connected to your wireless network. If you need help setting up the Yoon, call the number below for more information. Next, you'll connect to the Yoon command line using SSH and install the Python package manager and create a directory to keep it all organized. Then you'll need to download the IR library and supplied Arduino sketch. Tired of uploading Arduino sketches over USB? Act now and you can upload to Yoon via Wi-Fi! Not only will your sketch be updated when you upload over Wi-Fi, but the necessary files to run the web server will also be copied over auto-magically. Now you can aim a remote control from your pile of remotes at the IR sensor to see IR code information displayed in the serial monitor, just like magic. Configure the remote control codes by editing the XML configuration file, or by adding your own custom names and codes. We've got all the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this step. Once you've configured your XML file, you'll start a local web server on the Yoon. This allows you to easily access all the different commands via a simple web interface. 
And if you're using Google Chrome, you can even speak the name of an activity to trigger it. No more using your fingers like a chump. You too can be free of messy, confusing, and dangerous remote control clutter. Just call the number below, build the project, throw all your remotes in the garbage, and then sit back and enjoy your smart remote control. Call the number below for more information. Fortified with vitamin K.